Hi everyone, it's Lauren and I'm in a bit of a funny mood today because I've um, <clears throat> had a bit of a cold um, over the weekend and it's that really annoying type of cold where I'm being a really annoying type of person because it's not actually that bad. I've just got a sore throat and you know I feel really tired but I'm making such a meal out of it. I was just like, well you need to bring me a coffee and I don't feel well. <coughs> I feel like I'm putting it on for the camera like... <coughs> So I thought I'd just sit down and have a little bit of chat with my coffee and I've got Peter Rabbit here as well to keep me company. Peter Rabbit has been with me or has belonged to me since the Christmas before I was born. Um, I was born in April but my nan obviously could not contain herself and got me a little Peter Rabbit so he's very old now. He's, um, he's 28, well I'm 28 so he must be 28 and a half, 28 and a half years old. There he is, he's looking a bit scrappy now. Ain't you, mate? So a couple of things I did want to say in this video was one that I am going to be doing a Q&A soon-ish, probably in the next week or so I'm going to film it. So if you have any questions for me that you'd like me to answer or anything you just want to talk about, book related or non-book related, I am easy, then leave some questions in the comments below this video. I was going to do that thing where people go, oh loads of you have been asking me to do a Q&A, so hey I'm going to do one. And not loads of you haven't been asking, one person asked, um, but I just thought I'd do one anyway, like just inflict myself upon you like whether you have questions or not so um yeah just do let me know if there's anything you want to talk about and then the other thing i really wanted to mention in a video is an american in paris which is a musical dance show basically which is on at the dominion theater in london at the moment it's just transferred from being on broadway and i just really wanted to talk about it because it's amazing it's one of the best pieces of theater i've seen on stage for a really long time where you just go in and everything about it I was like wow I love it everything is so slick um, I couldn't fault anything about it really and I feel like it deserves a lot of hype and attention because I know a lot of people really enjoyed La La Land and were really into the old Hollywood musical look and this is like a good version of La La Land <laughs> I hope I don't upset people with my opinion that La La Land was distinctly average because the old school musicals like the singing in the rain are oh, like those kind of musicals like my favorite films and the people in those films could act, sing and dance and they were triple threats and they're amazing and I feel like people who can do those three things exist and those people are in An American in Paris <laughs> so if you really liked that kind of La La Land vibe then please 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 go see it. There is no plot to it really but then some of my favourite musicals don't really have plots because the plot is that she's a ballet dancer and he's an artist and together they end up putting on a show and I love, I love 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 films or musicals where the, where the plot is we're gonna put on a show because it's just gratuitous song and dance for no reason and that's, that's what I love most. The leads are professional ballet dancers like Robert Fairchild has been in the New York City Ballet, Leanne Cope has been in the Royal Ballet, like these people are super super talented and they can act and sing and I do not like many things let me tell you I love going to the theatre and I love I love art like I love appreciating art but my way of appreciating art is normally to discuss all the things that I would do differently or go oh I didn't like this bit I didn't like that bit um, and that's just maybe I'm just quite a negative person I don't know but I don't often really gush about something I've been really getting into my own ballet as well recently so I've started a new ballet class um, a new term and I'm going twice a week now which has been very enjoyable so far um, it's a <laughs> it's a little bit embarrassing because the new class I've joined I the class I wanted to do had to switch days so I couldn't make it so I've gone a level below where I should be so I'm kind of the best one in the class and then another class that I'm doing um, another point in the week is kind of a bit harder and it's definitely there's people that go there that are professionals like that's an amazing class and that's too hard for me almost so I've got this funny little balance of a very easy um, technique based class and then one which is a little bit more challenging so I'm hoping that that is going to work for me and I, what I really want to do is next term and start back on point um, because my ankles are probably not well they haven't been that strong recently but I've just been really working on it to try and get them better because I just really want I love ballet I love dancing and I want to be able to do it and do it well and that, that's all I want to do I mean I, I was going down a bit of a YouTube hole the other day just watching loads of like videos behind the scenes of professional dancers and just being like why aren't I this <laughs> like, I just if I could honestly if I could do one thing if I could magically be something um it would be be a ballet dancer like that is absolutely what I would be if I could change my whole life um obviously I can't do that I know I can't do it professionally but then it's just being able to do something to a, a standard where you can enjoy it yourself, which I think is the main thing. It's like why any of us have hobbies 
I don't know, where's the line between doing something because it's your career and just doing it just because, just because you want to do it. I feel like this is my issue with most things though, is that I want, like the thing is I want to do it really well and I want to do everything. Um, <laughs> I was talking to Will yesterday about kind of extra stuff because I was started looking at Amdram theatre companies and I like literally emailed one and was like, yeah, I really want to audition. And then I thought, what am I doing? I don't have time. I don't, there isn't enough time in my day to like do ballet twice a week and like learn Spanish and like do my booktube channel and also then just be part of this um, Amdram theatre company. And also I've applied to, to run the Mar London Marathon next year. So <laughs> like, where do I think this time is coming from? I think I just really want to be back at school, basically. My perfect life would be if I didn't work, I didn't have to go to work, and I just did things to better myself, you know, like accomplished women in the 18th century. Like, that's what I wanna be. Like I wanna be able to learn languages and play my violin and dance, and I just wanna do all the stuff. I don't actually wanna have to like make money. <laughs> I don't know how I achieve this dream, but I just, I wanna do too much, and I, I can't choose between all the things I wanna do, that is, my problem, isn't it? Let me know if you feel the same way. I feel like I was always someone who didn't really have a passion, so therefore I've been a real like jack of all trades. Like my passion is almost everything. Like I can't decide, oh, I really want to be a pianist. So like, so I'd really work at it. I just kind of half worked at everything. So I'm just like okay at everything, um, or not even okay. Like not even that good. Here's something that I find quite a lot is that I think because so when I was at school I could speak Spanish and I could speak French and I could play the piano and the violin and like in my head I can still do those things even though I haven't done them I haven't practiced them really or done them seriously for like 10 years and I forget that I can't do things in my head I'm like oh I bet if I just started practicing my violin I'd be really good in like six months and it, like I probably wouldn't <laughs> I think in my head I feel like I have all these skills but they're just they're old skills I don't have them anymore I have this real disconnect between my head in terms of what I actually can do and what I actually am and in my head what I think I am or I think I could be with just like a really little bit of practice, which is a bit worrying because I, I, I kind of want to have a realistic view of myself and, and my skills, <laughs> my skill set and what I'm able to achieve. This has got quite deep and existential quite quickly, <laughs> which is not really what I had planned for this video. Um, but I do think it's an interesting question because when we talk about creativity and what makes a creative person, and I don't think I am that creative, but I do like creativity in terms of interpretation so like I wouldn't write something myself or compose something myself or draw something out of nothing myself, but I've always enjoyed like dancing, which is, you know, you're given choreography and you have to interpret it or acting like I could interpret a script or a piece of music. Like I like interpreting things, which is why I suppose I have a YouTube channel where I read books and then interpret them for you and like review them. Like that's kind of, is that being creative in itself or is that just enjoying creativity as a thing? I don't know. It's an interesting question and one I would like you to answer for me in the comments. <laughs> Thanks for joining me and Peter Rabbit. Um, I actually, I, I got him because I thought if I hold him, I won't be playing around with my hand so much and moving around in the video, it's what I do all the time. But actually what I've been doing is just playing with him. So I hope he hasn't been annoying for you. I just need to like tape my hands under my bum so <laughs> that like, I just sit still. So I hope that you are all well and you're having a lovely day wherever you are and <clears throat> you're not feeling as sort of bunged up as I am <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. Bye!